All right, so welcome back. Uh, this episode is kind of going to be a prelude to future episodes that I plan on having. And these episodes are going to go into depth about weld joints and their welding symbol and things you might expect to see on different wacky blueprints and things like that. So just to get a little bit closer of view, we're going to take you over to the table here and show you just some really quick mock-ups just with a couple of pieces of aluminum that I got. All right, so we pretty much remember what the X is for, so <laughs> just works out that it's a good target for doing this. So a couple things that I want to just really go over to start with is that, and I'm sure I'm going to try and go really general high level, high scope on this one, is that there are two main, I guess, well, Let's see, I gotta, I gotta word this correctly. And I'm probably gonna get it wrong. You'll probably correct me in the comments, but there's really two different weld types and then very many different weld joints, all right? So what I mean by that is you've got fillet welds and you've got butt welds. You've got lots of different types of all of the above. So, I mean, your T-joint, Fill weld. Could be, if you had this beveled, could be a butt weld as well. Then your lap joint is your fillet weld. Though I can't say that I've really seen it, I imagine you could also bevel one side and have that be a butt weld, or a, yeah, a groove weld as well. So then, you know, just two members together. This could be like this is a square groove weld. You could have gaps, you don't have gaps, you know, you have endless possibilities. You could have one side beveled, both sides beveled. You can have all sorts of different configurations for these joints. So anyways, this is the, again, the high level, sorry for that, very high level that this is the kind of conversations that I'm going to take some future episodes on the uh, the wet series and I though this is aluminum I plan on using some steel and kind of showing you what the actual weld symbol would be you know you got your weld symbol and uh, see I'm drawing this upside down so uh, doesn't really matter. It's always to the left. So your weld symbol, okay? And then once we talk about the weld symbol and some of the nomenclature on the weld symbol, let's talk about uh, what that actually means when you get to the metal. And then what will you see on different blueprints? So things like that. That's that's the direction that I want to go. And it, if you guys have any specific type of joint that you would like some sort of information on, just uh, leave me a comment and it could very well likely be that that's the future video for the that weld joint type. Uh, gotta say, probably be done out of steel. What it looks like on paper, what it looks like on the metal. And if I and really feeling spunky, I might even actually weld the joint out. So, thanks for watching. And again, if you've got anything in mind that you would like some information on, just leave me a comment and we'll go from there.